It's 5 p.m. India time or 11.30 GMT. First up, news from the Persian Gulf. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani has inaugurated the phase one of the Chabaha port development project today. In May 2016, Afghanistan, India and Iran had signed the Chabahar port agreement. The port is likely to boost trade between India, Afghanistan and Iran in the wake of Pakistan denying transit access to New Delhi for trade with the two countries. Chabahar port is in southeastern Iran's Sistan, Balochistan province. In October, India had sent its first consignment of wheat to Afghanistan by sea through Chabahar port in Iran. And for more of the story, I'm now joined by Vion's uh, Maral from, uh, uh, from Tehran. She's live with us uh, this moment. Maral, what did, you, what, did, what did President Rouhani say in his address on the occasion of the inauguration of Phase 1 of the Chabahar port? Hello and good afternoon. Uh, well, President Rouhani made a speech. He expressed delight and dubbed the event as a memorable day. He said that his joy is not only due to the development of port, but because it is the path to further interaction with other countries in the region. During his speech, he also made reference to regional power struggle and stated that, and it's a quote, that uh, some assume that our region, meaning Middle East region, is a region of war and conflict, a region of clash of Shia and Sunni, and a region of presence of foreign powers. But today there is no trace of that. He also said that this region, in this region, no one can claim that they are a greater power and other countries should submit to them. If our region is strong, then everyone can enjoy security and power. This is a glimpse of how he basically made annotations to, to, to the ongoing events in the Middle East. In relation to the development of the Chaba Accord, he also stressed that we are after development of other phases and also plan to connect the port via railroad and also uh, through roads. He said that we should be able to connect Chabahar Railroad to Iran's railroad system. Uh, and by Shabaha, we can connect to Central Asia and Black Sea, which is quite important for Iran. And this can be a positive development of Shabaha port for Iranians as well. Also, Maral, how is the Iranian media covering this event? Uh, give us a flavor, if you will, about what people and media are talking about the port project. Well, two issues gain coverage uh, within the Iranian media. One was comments made by Mr. Turkan, who is Secretary of High Commission of Free Trade Zone in Iran. He stated that Iran has granted the management of some projects in Chabahar port to India. So according to him, contract management of the projects would be conceded to the Indian side for a certain period of time, which is reported to be about 99 years, and according to an accurate formula. This has attracted some condemnation by some Iranian critics because they believe that this framework resembles agreements which sell out the interests of the the, uh, the country, Iran as a country, giving away authority of management um, of the port uh, and also management of Iran's soil to a foreign country and it can result in uh, dependence to foreigners and cause unemployment of Iranian local people. Second big news was um, recent uh, visit by Mr. Tillerson to India during which uh, he uh, basically then he was asked about India's plan investment of hundreds of millions of dollars in the Iranian port of Chabahar. Mr. Tillerson said that there, they saw no contradiction in the U.S. call of sanctions and the project and he also said that Washington does not aim to interfere with the legitimate business activities that are going on within between Iran and India. So this also was interesting for Iranians to see that the United States is basically somehow um, not interfering or in, in some sense also probably backing up these plans. Also, Maral, uh, now we heard you describe in great detail what President Rouhani had to say on the occasion, but explain to the Vion viewer why the Chabaha Pro project is so strategically and economically important for Iran, Afghanistan and India. Exactly. You see, Chabahar deal is India's big hope to connect to Central Asia, uh, which India considers as its extended neighborhood. 
And as you rightly mentioned, Chaba Harcourt has great both economic, political, and even diplomatic significance to India. Economically, it can provide um, a corridor for access to trade with Afghanistan by passing Pakistan. Um, it, the import cost of oil would reduce food security. It would be provided because of easy access to Central <clears throat> Asia. Also, strategically, reduced dependence of landlocked Afghanistan on Pakistan for sea access will lower Pakistan's strategic hold on Afghanistan. It will also help India to counter Chinese presence in the Arabian Sea and uh, also can be used, um, this, this, this area can be used for India as a station, uh, uh, to a station security ve vessels for mer merchant ships. Also diplomatically, it can also provide um, a link to pro promote cultural linkage between Iran and India and other countries in the region. So it is of great significance for India and also for Iran. Indeed, and as you said, Maral, India says the Chabaha port will help the landlocked Afghanistan get access to a seaport. It will help Afghanistan to import and export goods and commodities from and to India. Also, it is near the Gwada port in neighboring Pakistan. At the same time, it will immensely benefit Iran too, isn't it? Especially in rail and road connectivity with Afghanistan and Central Asia as part of the North-South Transport Corridor. Certainly, you see, this will provide Iran with much needed foreign investment and also development of uh, trade in every sense, either it's through ship or through land. So Iran has been isolated for many years. International sanctions, which has been in place for the past four decades, has taken a toll on the country. And Iran knows that it can no longer rely on oil. As prices are dropping steadily and new technology decreases dependence of um, worldwide economies on oil. So in this environment, the strengthening of economic and diplomatic ties makes a big part of Iran's long-term development plans and um, a strengthening of ties with India specifically can um, um, open greater horizons for Iran as a nation state. All right, Mala Maral, we'll have to leave it at that. That was uh, Weon's uh, Malal uh, Gulampur joining us from Tehran in Iran.